Hello everyone, we're going to do a walk through a 22 foot family bunk caravan. Uh, this is our Kapiti model, uh, chassis number 1564, it's about 5-6 months old. Um, right, so this one's a, a little different in that it's got the composite uh, front and rear, smooth composite. And uh, and the roof, and then the corrugate side. So it's it's just a little different look. It's quite nice. Um, haven't done a lot of these. So we've got charcoal charcoal composite here, and then the smooth silver corrugate, and black and orange decals. Looks pretty smart. Um, standard cradles for the two nine kg gas bottles. Change over there. Tunnel boot right through, uh, very similar to most of the tunnel boots. That's about 500 square, slightly bigger. This one's a gas vent for the gas heater. Uh, this one's only got one battery um, on board. We could do, probably could easily add another battery to this. Uh, outside shower. Hot and cold mixer, one and a half meter hose on that. Um, when you get an outside shower, as usual, you get an outside light, which is very handy. Two water filling uh, points for the two tanks under the floor. Refrigerator here, uh, vent top and bottom. Is a nice flush uh, inlet power supply, 16 amp. Here's the grey water drain, there's also a mains water connection there, if you're parked up and uh, got good water supply you can just run water in that way, not running your pump. This one's a double bunk, uh, window each, gas, uh, hot water, this is the standard unit, um, 28 litre I believe, stainless steel cylinder that's tucked right in the back corner under the bunk so out of the way uh, four arm rear bumper so that's suitable for carrying a bit extra load uh, bikes e-bikes a few other things spare tires included lockable uh, we've got our rear view monitor uh, camera with comes with a monitor to fit in your vehicle Quite smart colours you can see see there. Um, here's our toilet cassette, steel entry step, entry light, the usual. Uh, can do this with one hand. Yep. Usual um, tough steel mesh entry door, so you can can lock that like that and leave the van ventilated. Four locking pins so very very robust door simply splits from the outer cover and picnic table with a light it's the usual takes 30 kg weight uh, 240 volt outlet if you're plugged in on mains a generator cigarette lighter 12 volt and the other side of the front boots this is two uh, solar panels 170 watts each, so that's 340 watts total there. Um, nice lighting outside, full, almost full length awning. Uh, very simple and quick to use. Jumping in, um, straight into sort of, sort of like a laundry area. Um, no washing machine in this one. You can can fit a washing machine in there from the factory. And then bathroom here, so nice big shower. This has got the um, black takeaway upgrade. This fan. This has also got a clear shower door, rather than frosted, so it's just a little different. Um, move around vanity, black taps, Dometic toilet with the. Um, 
set. Uh, well, this one's got a added cupboard over. This is normally void, so it's quite good. Uh, a little extra storage over maybe a toilet, sort of wasted space. Good, good to maximise that storage. As with all our vans, got uh, turn the black switch on here. Lighted and um, fan assisted vents here, hatches. There's one running now. Sliding door on the um, one suite. So this is a double bunk. Um, there is a edge protection and under here you can fold up. Stop the little ones rolling out. Down. Uh, this one's set up for curtain on each bunk too. Every bunk has a power point, 12 volt and a little light and all the windows of course, screens and blinds integrated. Uh, so there's your other lower bunk and we've got a drawer on this one so this is a little, little extra, um, normally that would just be a hatch. Underneath the back here we've got extra storage. So the hot water cylinders down the back there in that dead space, but you do have um, more access through the top for just maximising storage. So the back front door here, a lot of good storage here for um, linen, towels, outdoor sort of stuff. This is a very Scandinavian sort of style. A nice, nice blonde wood grain and black and white, very smart. Um, this van, slightly different cabinet here with the microwave down low and just gaining some storage here. It's quite a good idea. Overhead cupboards right through, very robust, all fully sealed. Glued, screwed, interlock joinery. Open the hands up. Um, nice black lounge, very smart. This just has the basic wine glass table edge, so that can easily be can be turned and then easily removed. Um, you've got the leg flaps here. They're really nice to um, pop them up and sit with your back against the couch and you can put your feet up, watch TV. That, that TV easily spins around from, from the bedroom to the lounge. You can't do it with one hand. That'll just swing right around here. Easy viewing. Um, this van also has uh, maximised the space under the bed with um, fitting two drawers. Just makes it a little easier access. Um, not lifting the not lifting the mattress. Um, you still got extra space back here. This cover is hiding the um, gas heater. You can see the, the vent duct coming out here. So they're a good little off-grid heating solution. Again it's a Truma unit. The controls here by the bed very handy. This is becoming more common, the little cutouts inside of the um, bed so you can tuck your um, charging and so on. Phones in the cupboard. This is one thing we do over the Aussie standard builds is leaving a fixed panel here so you can leave books, phones, keys, wallet, whatever on there, easily open that door without wiping things off. Nice uh, 
um, little storage beside each each bed. Lots of overhead storage there and here. Big windows. Um, the usual fly screen coming down. Lockout blind coming up. What else have we got? Range hood. Yes, one electric, full oven, grill, oven, comes with the, with the baking trays, made the suit, They're a good little unit, nice uh, black sink, very deep, not too big, so sort of a more efficient uh, use of water, great for washing up, no one loves doing dishes, but uh, as we can. Uh, this one will include the 24 inch smart TV by RSE and a manual manual wine guard antenna. Uh, the newer style Dometic um, RUA fridge. So this is a three way gas. 12 volt while you're driving and 240 volt. So the something like 100, 150 litre fridge and 46 I think. 46 litre freezer. Heat of room in there. So yeah, pretty nice van. This is um, basically ready to go. Please just uh, Contact us if you have any questions or uh, comment down below, we answer them pretty quick. Check out our other, other videos and uh, have a look at us on social media too, constantly updating photos there. Thank you.